Hello! It's been a while since we've had a Sunday School video. Uh, we took a break while all our VBS videos were coming out, but we are continuing on our march through the Bible. Now, since it's been so long, let's do a quick, quick, ultra quick refresher. So we know about King David, right? He's one of the most famous kings ever. He was a man after God's own heart. He definitely made some mistakes on the way, but eventually he has a son named Solomon, right? And Solomon, at some point, God tells Solomon, I will grant you whatever you ask of me. But instead of asking for great wealth or lots of power or strength or, or any other thing that most people would be tempted by, Solomon asked for wisdom. And God was so pleased because Israel needs a wise king. So Solomon was kind of known to be the most wise person who ever lived, who ever lived. Now, in today's story, Solomon gets to do something very special and very important. Ever since Moses left Egypt with the Israelites, they had created this thing called the tabernacle. And it was like this portable tent that they could move around and it was supposed to be where like God's presence dwelled in a special way, right? And it was like a reminder to the people that God was always with them. But now the Israelites have had their own country. They're not going to move around anymore. They've made it to the land that God has promised them. So instead of having a portable tent, it was time for something permanent. And so Solomon got a bunch of people together and they were going to build the temple. And the temple is where God would permanently dwell as a reminder to the people that God was always with them, right? And so, of course, if they're building something for God, they want it to be super special. So they got all the best architects to design it. Right? They had a very specific plan and they used all the best materials. They used gold and very precious wood that was hard to find and just the best of everything because it was for God. And so they wanted to make it the best that they could, the best that they could. And they build the temple and the temple is probably like the most amazing building that any of the Israelites had ever seen. And it was the place where the Israelites could go to offer sacrifices to God if they had done anything wrong. It was a place where they could go to talk to priests, to talk to God, to pray, right? It was just a big part of everyone's everyday life. And the temple could be seen almost like wherever you were. And it was just a reminder to everyone that God was there with them. Now, as cool as the temple was, it was just eventually, it, it, it wasn't actually like the permanent dwelling place of God. Because we know that when Jesus came, he said, I will rebuild the temple. But what did he mean? Was he going to build a huge building by himself? No, of course not. And we'll get to it eventually. But as precious as the temple was using all the best architects and the best materials, you know what is even better than the temple? Us, our bodies, because God put us together, right? And God loves us more than any like earthly material. And so God was going to make us his temple. He would live in us not in some building, and that would be the reminder that God was always with us because he was right inside of us all along, right? So when we think of the temple, we can remember it was a symbol to remind people that God was there with them all the time. But nowadays, God is with us all the time. We are his temple. He lives inside of us. How amazing is that? So that's our story for today about how Solomon 
had the opportunity to build a special building just for God called the temple. The temple. We'll keep going with the story next week, but that is it for now. I will talk to you all later.